How you doing folks? Today I'm going to talk about the equipment I use, exactly what you need to be able to make fishing videos. I've had a few people over the past couple weeks uh, ask me what, how I made videos, what should they buy and what not. So I'm going to decide just to make a video over it. That way I will give you all the information that you need to be able to make your own fishing videos. I'm not saying this is the best way but it's just what works for me uh, 95 percent of the people who make fishing videos use a GoPro I do not use a GoPro alright first thing you need is a Canon Easy Shot this is my camera that I use you'll notice it looks like a regular camera well we'll get into that in a minute and why how I'm still able to use this it's called a Canon Easy Shot I believe it was $129 the first thing you want to do when you buy this camera is you want to put a 64 gigabyte memory card in there. Um, the camera gives you the option to record at 1080 quality or you can lower it down to 720. I lower it down to 720 because it allows you with that 64 gigabyte memory card it allows you to hold approximately 58 hours of video. If you have it set on the 1080 option, you're only going to get about, I think it was 15 hours. So it, that's the main reason, but also because when I upload and convert all my videos and cut the parts out I need, it's a lot simpler when I have it down to 720 already. Um, it's just a lot quicker. The second thing you want to do is the batteries that go in here. Each battery only lasts one and a half hours. I have nine batteries altogether. You can get them on Amazon. You want to buy the spare batteries for these. Because if you're fishing all day, uh, eight to ten hours, you're not going to have enough time to with one battery. Or say you go camping for the weekend. You just want to be sure that you have enough time batteries to be able to, to for a 12 hour fishing day or a camping trip even um, I usually even when I'm fishing all day I, the most I've ever used is six I believe uh, but I have never took it camping with me yet so I do got those extra nine batteries just in case that ever happens to where I can't charge my batteries uh, you know when I go on vacations and whatnot I stay in a hotel and I got three wall chargers that charge these batteries so I'm able to charge them very quickly it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to completely charge each battery but with me having three wall chargers it's very easy to do that okay the second thing you need is I bought one of these carrying cases it's like a travel bag and what I keep in there is my wall chargers, like I said before, I have three of these. They each hold one battery. But I got three of these to where if I'm in a rush, say I fish all day and I don't get done till dark, then I clean fish until 11 at night and I plan to get back up at 5 in the morning, I want to be able to charge those nine batteries as quick as possible while I'm getting cleaned up and eaten and before I go to bed. I've never really done that yet, but... If it ever arises, I have that possibility. Okay. The next thing you need is a cord that is a USB on one end and a micro USB cord on the other. This allows you to transfer the files from the camera to your computer, whether it be a laptop or a home computer. Uh, you don't want the you don't want to let them files build up too long because it will fill up. After at the e end of each fishing day, I take I take those files off and put them on my computer. Now, what I do when I do that is when I copy the files to my computer, I put them first in a file. I create a new folder called Temporary Fishing Files because you got to cut the boring parts out. You don't want to, you know, you obviously you're not going to make a video that's 12 hours long of you fishing all day. You're going to, you're going to record just the parts that you want and take those out. 
The only way I've found to do that, you have to download a program called VLC Media Player. But the catch is you have to download the old version. And I'm going to show that to you right now on how I take the parts out of the longer video. Okay. It's called VLC Media Player. Then you want to download the older version. The reason is the newer version does not have this option. Now, as you're playing a video, it will give you the option to hit record. So when you find a part where you're actually where you caught a, caught a fish, you want to go back to that exact time frame on that video, and then you hit record. For some reason, this program is taking forever to come on. I don't know why. It's not even wanting to come on at all. But it allows you to record only the areas you want. Then what it will do... Okay, I'm going to open a file and show you. The record button is right here but next to the... There will be the orange cone. It's in the left bottom corner. When you're playing a file, that will be a red little circle right there. A little red circle. You hit that record button. Then what's going to happen is once you cut out all the parts and they're saved in that, like I said, creator folder called temporary fishing videos or whatever, temporary videos. What I do after I cut all the parts out of that, then I go back and I number each of them in numerical order. One, two, three through 30 or whatever. Okay. Then you also got to get another program. It's called Freemake Video Converter. I'm going to show that to you guys. Freemake Video Converter. What this does is because when you take those files off of your camera, they're going to be in a format that YouTube does not recognize. And Windows Media Maker, because that's the third process, which I'll get into next. When you download that free make video converter, you have to upgrade to the gold version. The reason is, is because each segment that you're cutting out of that fishing video, if you do not have the gold version or the upgraded version, it will have a little three second ad advertisement in between each clip. You do not want that in there. It's very annoying. People don't want to see it. So what you do when you, you take all them videos I mentioned earlier, one through 10 or one through 30, you have to convert all those little random clips that you have cut out of your previous long video. You have to convert them to Windows Media Viewer. When you open up the free make video converter, it will give you 20 different options of what videos you want to, how to convert those videos. So you click on all those videos, like I mentioned, convert them to Windows Media in a 720 format. Okay. The third process after doing that, and they will still be numbered 1 through 10. You have the option of where to save those videos. I do not save them to the original folder that I saved them to. I save them now to what I plan on naming my video when it's said and done on YouTube. So I make another folder first and I name it episode uh, one, for example, and what uh, catching big bass out of a friend's pond or whatever. Um, then once you format those videos, it will automatically be saved into there if you click on that. So create the folder first, then once you convert those to Windows Media, make them to where it saves it to that video. When that is done, you want to go into the first folder where the original videos were that were not Windows Media files yet that came from the VLC player. You can go ahead and delete all those files. Delete those because you no longer need them because you have the new folder and the new formatted videos that are now converted automatically to Windows Media files. At this point, they're already numbered because it copied the name at 1 through 30 or whatever, so you don't have to rename them. But at this point, you got to go to Windows Movie Maker because what this does, it connects all 30 of those videos or however many, 27 it converts them all into one video, it connects them all. If you don't do that, you cannot make the video correctly unless you have another program. I'm just saying that's what works best for me. Also, when you're using Windows Movie Maker, you have the option to add songs in the background, 
and adjust the volume. You want if you want to add music to your videos, I suggest you do it very quietly. But I also suggest you use very, music that is very unpopular if you ever plan on monetizing your videos because it will you will get uh, unmonetized because it will notice the popularity of the songs. For instance, if you're using Led Zeppelin or Bob Seger or whatever, you won't be able to monetize that video because it, it is copyrighted and the all the money that you would be making from that video will automatically go to those people. So, I actually, you see a lot of my older videos, I have music, but I'm no longer putting music in my videos unless it is very, very unpopular. It, trust me, it catches almost everything you can think of. So, it also gives you the option on that Windows Media Viewer, Windows Media Movie Maker to add music in your video if you wish to do that. And, uh, you can adjust the volume because you want to still hear, hear, hear your voice. You want to be able to hear you talk. So keep that in mind. You don't want the music all the way up. It, nobody wants to watch that. All right. The other thing you need is I have a case right here. It is waterproof. Like this. It just closes like this. I keep this in my backpack with me because... I have to bring my batteries with me. I have a Ziploc bag that says dead batteries. I keep both of these in this box like this. The other bag is good batteries. I keep these charged all the time. So when I need a new battery, I take a battery out of the good bag. And when the one is dead, I put it inside the other bag. That way the batteries don't get mixed up and I don't have to sit there and wonder which ones are alive and which ones are dead. My original first thing I did was I had them numbered with a magic marker so I'd go in numerical order and that didn't work because even though it was a permanent marker, that stuff rubbed off at the time. So I recommend that because if you're a creek wader like I am, you're wading through some deep holes, you want that to be waterproof. Waterproof box, it's only $4. I got it at Kmart, I believe it was. I've tested it out, I've thrown it in the water, nothing gets in it. I also keep my cigarettes and lighter and cell phone in there. If I bring them to the water, I usually do not bring my cell phone on. If somebody really needs to get a hold of me, uh, I can, they can wait till I'm done fishing. Here's the most important thing and the hardest thing to find. They are becoming extremely rare. This is how I wear my hat. Or my camera, I'm sorry. You have to buy a hat that has a bolt going through the bill. It screws on right here. The camera screws down. I'll sit here and show you. Every digital camera has these on the bottom. It's just got a hole right there. You just set it on there, push down a little bit, and turn. And voila. I've only found two places where I'm able to get this hat. And I'm going to give you the names of them right now. The first one, I have two of these because i got a spare in case something ever happens to it was on eBay it's only nine dollars I believe something like that it's real reasonable now if you cannot find these which it took me a long time to find them you can make your own you could probably just go to the hardware store buy a bolt and put a buttload of glue underneath the bill to hold that thing in place I believe it is a quarter inch fine thread bolt let me check the bolts on this the threads on this It is quarter inch. You'll be able to figure that part out. Anyway, the first guy you can get these from is on eBay. And this is going to take a minute because I have to look back through my history of uh, purchases, which this was a uh, year and a half ago. So it's going to take me a minute to find that. All right, purchase history. And you guys have to bear with me. And then I have one other website besides eBay where you're able to purchase another hat. And I don't think it's good quality. You can also get a uh, some kind of thing that clips on. It clips on the bill of your hat. It's like a strong, really strong chip clip, basically. And... It has the bolt on it. I wouldn't recommend that, but hey, if that's what works for you, then that's 
you know that, that then that will could possibly work for you and my internet wants to go dead slow because of the uh, camera being on right now I have my webcam on so it's it's just uh, really slow but it should get there pretty soon here okay that's my waiters it's way back here we go it is called Campbell cameras Campbell that's C A M P B E L L underscore cameras and it is it's titled this guy sells them it's actually went up it's 1999 now when I actually bought it it was nine um, it's just called hat with camera mounting system mossy oak breakup so that once again folks that was called Campbell cameras C A M P B E L L underscore cameras okay I have one more here and it may I may not even be able to find it um, let's see here But that guy should have them. He usually does. If he doesn't, just send him a message and he will be able to get you one uh, usually within a week or so. Um, that's what happened when I bought my second one. He actually didn't have one and he said, don't worry, I will email you as soon as I... Uh, so he, he does have access to them if he doesn't have them at the time. Okay, the other one is called independenttackle.com independenttackle.com it's all connected all one word and they have they're a little higher from them they're thirty four dollars they got them in a variety of colors um, and uh, but so like I rec like I said I would recommend getting them off the eBay as opposed to there obviously very expensive and there was one more place And that is looks like it's called jet.com, like an airplane. Jet.com. And then you go there. And if it ever loads, come on, people. It's taking forever once again. Waiting for it to load. So much fun. And I have 10 meg internet. Imagine that. This camera just slows down my computer so much. It don't. It's don't want to do anything. All right. It's called Jet.com, just like an airplane. And you type in. Spike visor mount for action camera standard quarter inch. And what this is, this is the type I was talking about earlier. It clips on your bill and then has the bolt that screws down. This one's only $8.95. So it's three options you got there, folks. I would honestly go with the eBay version first. Because it's the most reliable and most cheap for the for the quality. Then, secondly, I'd probably go with this because it's only eight ninety five. You're not you can order three of these for the price uh, of them thirty four dollar ones, and there's nothing wrong with it. It just you just got to check it once in a while, make sure it ain't sliding around or whatever. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped some of you that's uh, been asking the questions. Like I said, my method is not necessarily the best one. It's just what works for me, and I, I, I'm i one of them types of people that don't like change, so I just, I just, it works for me. On the downside, this camera is not waterproof. I ruined one on Father's Day because I got knocked out of my canoe by a tree, and I fell completely in the water. So, even if it's sprinkling rain, just do not wear it. 
this camera is very sensitive to, wa to water it is not waterproof you cannot stick it down in the water to record your fish while you're releasing it or whatever so maybe that's something you want to think about you may want to try something else because there that is the one downfall to it that's the only thing I've ever found wrong with it other than that this is what works best for me and, and if it's ever raining I usually just I just don't use it all right hope you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button you guys have a good day